just got a phone call there from one of our friends, a landowner. He said, oh, the elk are just down the road there and we're actually on the way to go see the father-in-law there because he shot low light and we're going to do some videos and photos of that. But uh, it's a bit of a gimme here with these elk. We just got to go about half a mile and we'll see if they're there. So stay tuned. So it looks like the elk are out about 700 yards. The wind's in our face. So we got that to our advantage, but where they're at, they're out in the middle of a field and I don't think we're gonna get too, too close to them. But we'll see how close we get. We're just walking up along the edge of a creek here. And when our neighbors seen them, they were right along the creek. But sometimes they just come out and then they run. So I'm gonna keep going forward here and see how things shake out. So we're coming to the point on the creek and there's a big open field and right in front of you is that point and the elk are right there and they're about oh 800 yards away so we don't have any really cover but we don't have much to lose either so what we're going to do is walk down this tractor trail stay crouched and in line with each other like i said the wind's in our favor it's worked for me quite a few times just walking straight in animal if you have the wind in your favor i can see with my bare eyes their heads are down they're feeding they're not alert so we'll see if we can close the distance i think once we get to about 300 yards we'll assess the situation and we have the wind in our face and it's blowing pretty good so i think we should be good okay i'm gonna turn it back on once we get a little closer and maybe situated let's we'll see ya closing the gap looking around make sure there's no deer that's gonna bust us or anything all their heads are still down so we're good each step is a little closer lucky we have this walkway here where the tractors pull the crop off and haul it out all the stubbles broke so it's nice quiet about 500 yards about 600 yards I should pull up the rangefinder here just gonna get a little bit lower carrying the bipods shooting the rest here once you get to this little knoll up here we will arrange them and see how far we are. We gotta be a boat. Like I said, 400 yards, but they're feeding this way a little bit. And we got about 30 minutes, 20 some minutes of legal light. Wish Blake luck. It might just come together. Okay, we're taking our time. And there's a cow along the bush line that's watching us. But she hasn't really alerted the rest of them. Just ranged everything. We're 365 yards. She's trying to get this little knoll here. And we'll see how things end up. There's a mixture of big cows and calves here. And uh, I think we're gonna go after a big cow. Just a little time here, I'll get Blake set up and then we'll shoot. Which one is the one furthest to the right? Okay, it has a calf, you can shoot that one. 
careful those other cows are on the way. Let them totally clear. There's that one that's broadside to us. Right to the closest. Make sure that's a cow though. Just the first one, right? Not the second one. The second one is a ball. Yeah. You see the ball? Okay. I was thinking the first one to the left. That should be a cow. That's a little ball. Okay. Pick whichever one you want then. Just let me know which one. That's a calf. Okay. The one furthest to the right. Thank you. Hmm. Right. I think you shot over it, yeah. This way. Did you? There you go. Good job, Blake. Still alive. And just put one outside. No, just wait. I'll we'll watch it. Yeah. It's it's going down. Yeah. Good job, Blake. Thank you. Oh, sorry if it's shaking here. I'm trying to. Rush, I'm fat and a lot of shape. Gotta take my time there. So we stalked. Oh, I'd have to range it once I get there, but it's probably five, 600 yards ahead of me. And Blake's a good 500 yards. And we walked straight down the middle of the field to him within 300 yards. And you guys could see that we were getting up on him. I don't want to see up my nose, I'm sure. So Blake's just there, keeping an eye on it, making sure that nothing happens. We we'll watch to go down. So, but you never know. Sometimes they get back up. So Blake's just standing there, watching until I go get the truck, and then we'll go up to it. The other one's left. There was one big cow, two bulls, and the big cow along the bush was watching us. And over to our right, I didn't show you there, but there was two mule deer and a white tail watching us do the stalk. So I was just waiting for one of them to snort. Luckily they didn't. And just stay low and take your time. That's how you, how you get them in the middle of the field. Okay. I'm gonna try and run here. So what do you guys say, Blake? Well, I shot a nice elk over there. A yearling, so it's gonna be nice and tender. Over there, if I want, I could shoot a spiker buck. Got tagged for that. But there's a really big bear over there I could shoot. Yeah. And those are the deer I was telling you about that could have busted us. And there was a white tail, it looks like it left the field when I did. So the cow, calf is just up here. Should be a decent size. We'll go up there and check her out. We're driving up there. This is actually on a piece of property that I just got for trapping. So we'll see how uh, we get straight here ahead of us. So the deer are just leaving the field. Good eating elk. 
Okay, I'm gonna this head up there. Nice young calf there, Blake. A little dark now, so we're gonna load it up in the truck and then we'll get it home. And good eating though. Yep, good eating. And then I got a cow elk tag for later. You still have a mule deer buck tag to yeah. fill. And what else we got going on? I got a white tail tag I'd like to fill if a nice big buck comes out. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, we're gonna get at her. Yep. Don't know if you can hear it. That's five different coyotes I can hear. And like I said, this is where I got permission to snare. So we're gonna field gut this elk here. Maybe drag it ahead a little bit and do it right along the edge of the bush. If any of you guys watched last year when I got my deer and we had that lynx, this might turn into a situation like that, but with coyotes. Yeah, we're gonna have to come here and call them and snare them. Right on. Well, I was telling you guys, when the shop's a disaster, that's when shit dies. I'm doing this uh, deer for somebody. But we gotta get the rhino out of here, move my rams around a bit, and make room for Blake's elk. Here's the elk, all done. So not even two hours after we got the phone call, we're all done and it's hanging. Gonna make some good meat here. Nice and cool. In here we got five degrees. We'll get that hide out and that head out for some bait. And we heard the coyotes yip in there, so I'm gonna go check tomorrow and see, check the gut pile and we'll get the uh, the bait going over there. Definitely some coyotes in the area. That area has been trapped that I know of ever. And it's got a big draw, big creek system. And also on the other side of that creek, I had a guy call a couple years ago and see if I'd go catch over there. But uh, he has dogs, so I couldn't do anything. But his dogs don't uh, leave the yard or across that creek. It's a pretty steep creek, so... Anyways, we're all wrapped up. We're going to go in the house and relax. Brandy's out with her dad. He shot a, a buck tonight, and we got a little bit of a backstory on that one. So we'll bring that to you. Yeah. Right, Blake? Check out Blake's shirt there. Yeah. Fancy. Yeah. So you got anything to say about your hunt tonight, Blake? I don't know. It was fun. My longest shot I've taken on an animal. Yeah. I put it right where I wanted and it only went 10 yards. Yeah. And tipped over. So awesome. We did a good stock. You got set up and you got steady. And you see in the video there, we're trying to decide which one we're going to shoot. <laughs> and there was a couple bulls there. So we wanted to make sure we didn't shoot the wrong one. The big cow, lead cow, I think, was along the bush. And the calves were out in the middle so we did what we had to do running out of hunting time for this uh this tag and yeah we got eight days left yeah and i'll be gone for some and it is what it is we still might have a chance at a moose here before the end of the month and hopefully that works out that'd be sweet too yeah that'd be awesome yep all right we'll catch you guys later 